Margarita, so you've officially completed the one year design and garment construction program. We're so proud and we're really happy to have uh, gotten to know you throughout the course of this entire year. It's been our absolute pleasure. And we just want to thank you for sharing your experience with other students who might very well be like you. So thanks again for taking this time to chat with me, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Yes, okay, all right. So let's talk about the beginning. So when you first started the program, in your own words, what was your life or situation like when you decided to join Le Fashion Lab? What was going on? Okay, so um, what happens and what I decided to enter to Le Fashion Lab was that um, I had a big change in my life in that moment. <clears throat> I have to um, go to the United States and live there. Um, my husband was transferred to work there, so, um, I'm an environmental engineer, but um, I didn't want to continue with that career. So um, two or three years ago, I decided that I want to change my life and to start working in fashion design. So I think that um, with the opportunity that life was giving me, um, I said, okay, I'm going to change now. I have the time, I, have, um, I will have the time to change. So I started searching um, fashion schools in Atlanta and I found you. So I didn't want to spend like another five years um, studying in like in a fashion degree, in a bachelor. So when I found uh, what the fashion lab was offering me, I said, okay, that's what I want. I want to learn like, because it's not the basics, like you really are going through a whole bachelor degree like you are doing like a complete bachelor so but you are doing it in one year so that's that's why it motivates me to to do um the the course in the fashion lab got it um you mentioned that you have a background in environmental engineering but you wanted to shake things up and change your career um tell me a little bit more about why you wanted to do that Okay, so I study environmental engineer uh, for five years, um, and I really love sustainability. But um, my other passion was fashion design, like fashion and dresses and all of that. So two and three years ago, maybe I I went to Paris and I had the chance to to see um, a Christian Dior exhibition, and I I don't know why, but like in that moment I told myself like, okay, that, that is what I want. Like I want to work in fashion design or fashion industry, but I didn't know how uh, to combine the career that I had, like with this new topic. So um, I started to, like a little research about the fashion industry and I found that fashion industry is the second most contaminating in the world. So after knowing that, I said, okay, I want to focus in this. I want to work in sustainability, but in the fashion industry. Um, but if I want to enter to the fashion industry, I really want to know like the basics, you know, because you cannot um, go inside an industry without knowing anything. Like you have to know um, the basic, like the procedures or something um, for you to like to, do some innovations on it. So um, that's what I want to do. And that's what I want to start like uh, for the beginning. I want to start to know in powder making, draping, um, sewing, that is like the most important part of the fashion industry. So that's what I choose to do, what I do, what I did, like um, to start from the beginning um, so I can know more the industry. Got it. Okay. So um, before you started the program, and remember to include this question in your answer, um, what fears or frustrations did you have? Okay. So um, my biggest fear and, and my biggest frustration was that, well, my biggest fear is that I never consider myself as a creative person. Never. I well, I'm an engineer, so I was always like considering myself like really uh, numerical. But so 
that was like my big fear, like my biggest fear, like I will not be able to do this because I never consider myself as a creative person. Um, my frustration basically was that I didn't want to do like a five years career. I, want, I, I wanted to do my master's in fashion, but I didn't have the background. So I said like, okay, if you are going to do a master's, you have to know like something about fashion industry, but I didn't want to do five years so or four or four years so when i found you and what the fashion lab offers i said that's it like that is what i really want like one year one intensive year um that i can dedicate myself to know fashion industry like to know the fashion uh the development of collections and to know uh how is the creative process going and then i can do my master so um that's what I I was thinking. And yeah, my biggest fear was that I, I and I remember I was so afraid to start this process because I didn't know how to draw, I didn't know how to do illustrations, I only knew how to saw a little things, but not too much. Um so yeah, that was like my biggest fear. Got it, got it. Okay. Um would you say that over time your fears diminished did you start to have more confidence that maybe you could actually do it yeah i was i was really afraid about pattern making because i thought it was going to be really difficult but at the end and i think that um thanks to my um engineering um degree i had the like maybe like the basics to start pattern making I mean, it's difficult, but after you practice and after you know like a little about the process and how it should look, it's easy for you to do the pattern. Um, I was a little afraid about the illustration part because I never draw. Um, but I, I think that after all the classes and all the help that um, Rushika um, and all the tools that Rushika um, gave me, um, I did like something really good. I, I was really um, proud of what I what I uh, achieved. So yeah, after after practicing and after knowing what I was uh, in front of. Uh, I think that um, all my fears disappear, of course, is a little, um, and I think that the sewing part is a little frustrating sometimes because, um, I mean, you have to do a lot of practice to get like into really, really good, but I think it's part of the process, like all the process are going to be sometimes frustrating, but at the end, um, what I did and the result that I that I that I um, had it was so good it was so good I, I was so happy about it good okay all right so what dream when you first came to Le Fashion Lab what were your dreams and desires okay so what I my biggest dream is um well my, my biggest dream and desire was I wanted to do my master's in fashion uh, I want to do it in at the scan. So I was working towards that. But after that, like, like having all the tools for, for example, I love dresses. So for me, having all the tools to create my own clothes, like, I know that the dress that I made, and uh, like the red dress that I made, nobody else is going to have that dress and i made it and i made it in one day so for me like that's a dream come true like i can make my own clothes and i know that it's going to be an original me because nobody else is going to have it so that was that was one of my dreams i wanted to do my clothes so bad and and creating that and and knowing that i have the capacity to do that is it was really good good okay all right so what obstacles did you have to overcome like while you were going through the program what were some of the obstacles you had to overcome okay so um my biggest obstacle was with the illustration 
the illustration part, um, I never draw and I didn't um, consider myself as I can do illustration. So for me, creating the illustration was the hardest part um, of all the process, like not even part making or draping, it was illustration. Um, but after, you know, like you have to do shades and all of that, I think that it's really, you you have to practice, of course, but um, after all the tools that, that the teacher gives you, gave you, um, I think that I can do illustration. Of course, I have to practice uh, to be really good, but I think that I have the basics to continue with illustration. Good, okay. All right, so I'm sure you spent a lot of time researching your options when you were moving to America, wanting to, wanting to study fashion design. Why did you choose Le Fashion Lab? Okay, I chose Le Fashion Lab because it was the only one that, um, that was really complete. Like um, Le Fashion Lab offers a whole degree in one year, in one intensive year but like you have all the basics to do fashion design you have the part making you have the draping you have the sewing you have business classes that is really important if you're going to build your own businesses um so i think that it was the most complete option that i had um because it's got if your entity has got one is going to be really expensive and two is going to be really long and I didn't have like, um, I didn't want to spend another five years doing a degree, a degree, I already have one. So this one, yeah, it offers me like a complete thing and it was in one year. Um, so that's what I choose the fashion lab. Got it, okay. And previously you mentioned that before starting the fashion lab, you took a sewing class. Um, why did you still feel like you needed more? <laughs> I think that with sewing, you have to practice, practice, practice to become really, really good um, because it has like little details. And with, uh, I had like one year of sewing, but with one year, you don't, like you don't learn a lot. I only had at, at Saturdays because I was working back then. Um, so I didn't have like the expertise or I didn't know how to really, really sew. Um, so I, I mean, it's like a basic, but like I, I remember I told my husband, like I, with the classes, I never did a dress like I did in the fashion lab. Like I not even imagine the dress. So I have the sewing, but it was like not enough. Got it, got it, okay. All right, it was like the basics, but he really didn't get into mm -hmm. making detailed garments, okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So based on your opinion, would you say that with the right amount of effort, someone who has never sewn before can still succeed at Le Fashion Lab? Yeah, of course, you have to, you have to really work. Like sewing is not the only part of fashion design, and and it's really good because the fashion lab starts with basic sewing so if you don't know how to sew you are going to learn from the basics um again i didn't have the expertise i didn't want that good i remember that one year ago i was trying to make a christmas dress and i of course failed because i didn't have like the I, I have the basics of sewing, but I didn't have like all this detail and all of that. Um, so like seeing that progress, like one year ago, I didn't make my dress, my Christmas dress. And this year at one, like eight hours uh, after I made a dress. So you can do it. Like if you don't have the sewing basics, you can do it. Okay, good. All right. So now we're going to talk more about like the middle, like when you were actually in the program. So how has your perspective, your knowledge, your skills changed as you as you went through the program? How have those things changed? Um, my skills and my knowledge, I think that they change a lot. 
um, I like I really improved <laughs> what because I didn't know anything before, only sewing. Um, and what I tell you, like I can I could make five. I made five um, pieces of clothes in one month. Five hours. Okay. Like, I like I never in my life was going to imagine that I can do that. So having that knowledge, because I mean, um, I have to make the pattern from the beginning or do the draping from the beginning and then develop all the clothes uh, and sewing all the clothes. Like that's how you choose that the skills that you learn, um, like your success in the skills, you know, like you have the knowledge to do a mini collection that is only five pieces, but like you made it in one month and, and you made it good. So yeah, from from one year uh, until now, I think that my knowledge and my skills have improved a lot. Got it, okay, all right. And what would you say um, was different than you expected? Um, was different i think um well but that's like more my personal um uh, opinion is because i that was the only activity that i was doing outside my home so i was hoping to have like more friends or to have more people and then when i saw myself alone it was a really um uh, tough uh thing but i think that uh besides that um i never thought it was going to be that hard but i think that like all the hard work um shows when you finish your collection so um yeah i think it was it was really hard but i think if like you have to do the hard work if you want to be good at it got it got it okay so one of the things that you mentioned was that you started out in a program with maybe five people and then at the mm -hmm. end you ended up kind of by yourself. And yeah, coming, yes. coming from Colombia, you were hoping for more of that interaction with your classmates, but you never really mm -hmm. got it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, what was a great benefit um, that you didn't expect? Um, a great benefit? I think that living experience that I never lived before. Like for example, thanks to the fashion lab, I was able to be a model. You know, like that little experience that um, here in my back home, I never experienced it. And now I'm having like a new whole, yeah, a new whole life, you know, I'm, I'm doing my dresses and I'm modeling and I'm meeting people like you, for example, that, um, with uh that you can invite me to the fashion international um committee maybe the fa yeah the fashion group international yes yeah so mm -hmm. so those little things that i never expect um i maybe expect friends but i think that uh what marva and rushik and you uh gave me i think is really really important if if you want to be a, like uh, a networking. And I think that, um, yeah, I think that uh, I was living like a whole new experiences that I never thought it was going to be possible through, like, because I was a study. But knowing that it was, it was really good. Good, okay. All right. How much time would you say you spent practicing per week? um maybe like four hours per day okay when i was not at when i was not at uh, at class maybe four hours yeah got it okay and what was the most exciting thing that you learned or or accomplished my mini collection <laughs> okay <laughs> like my final my final project like um all that process was really beautiful because at the beginning you had your idea and then you start to illustrate but when you illustrate like 
for example, what happened to me is that I illustrate and I said, oh my God, how am I going to do this? Like how I'm going to sew the, to, to do the, all the sewing of this. And then I saw it and it was like, oh my God, like I really can't do this. Like it was a really beautiful process. Um, so yeah, that was like my biggest accomplishment. Got it. Okay. Um, so what was your favorite subject? I know that you kind of told me before, but let's talk about it again. What was your favorite subject? Okay, my favorite subject was draping. I really love draping. Um, for me, it was the easiest one because, uh, like, I can't imagine what I want, uh, and I then do it in the mannequin. So for me, that was right, like my really uh, favorite subject. Got it. Okay. All right. So let's move a little bit closer to the end of the program now. Um, uh, some of these questions I think you've already somewhat answered, but I'll ask you again anyway. So what have you achieved at this point and what are you most proud of? Okay, so um, I'm most proud of myself because I never imagined that I can do that with my hands. And, and again, I never consider myself as a creative person. And then I, I made like five pieces of clothes. Um, like I imagine it and then I do it, like I create them. So for me, I was really proud of myself to see that um, what I dream I can achieve. And, so yeah, that I was really, really proud of what at the end I I did. Got it. Okay. All right. And specifically, which goals for yourself did you accomplish? What thing? Sorry again. Sure, I'll repeat it. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you had some goals at the beginning of the program. Um, what goals did you set for yourself that you ultimately accomplished? Um, well, at the, at the beginning, like my biggest uh, goal was to enter to the master. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but I mean, in the meantime, like when I was doing the, the study, I think that all the goals that I uh, put myself into, I achieved it. Um, for example, creating the mini collection, doing the illustrations, um, sewing, <laughs> like all of that, um, I I accomplished it. So I I didn't have like a big goal at the beginning with the study. Like my big goal was to go um, into the master, mm -hmm. but uh, after I was doing the things like creating jackets or creating blazers like each step uh it was like a little goal for me and ending um in five illustration and five pieces of clothes and then i i saw it that was like the biggest accomplishment and the biggest goal like and when you uh told me that the final project was going to do that was going to um be to do a mini collection and then at the end, I saw that I can that I made that. Um, yeah, that was like my biggest accomplishment. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, so before starting the program, you mentioned that you had little to no skills in the following areas. Um, would you say that you now feel competent or confident in the following areas? I'll tell you, and then you tell me if you feel so. Fine sewing and how to finish garments professionally. Yes. Yes, okay. of course. <laughs> How to make patterns? Yes. Fashion sketching and illustration? Yes. Putting together a fashion portfolio? Yes. Um, how to come up with a design concept and bring it to life with your garment yes. construction skills? Okay. Mm -hmm. So overall, Margarita, are you happy with what you gained at Le Fashion Lab? Yeah, I'm really, really, really happy. Like, I'm really, really i um, happy and proud of myself, of what I did, and for uh, the relationships that I made with you and Marva and Rashika. 
that is also really important, you know. Um, and I think that it was a really beautiful experience. Um, it was tough, of course, sometimes uh, was so frustrating. But at the end, when you see the, the result, you feel proud of yourself. And of course, it's going to be hard work. It's going to be a lot of responsibility. Uh, but if you really, really want to do it, you can accomplish. So that's like, yeah, that's like my advice. <laughs> Got it, okay. All right. So I was just going to ask you, what would you say to prospects? But I think you just gave us a nice little conclusion right there. Yeah. Um, one last question for you. Who would you say is the ideal Le Fashion Lab candidate? What kind of traits or characteristics do you think this person should have to succeed? Okay, so uh, I think, okay, so to succeed in the Fashion Lab, I think you have to be really responsible. You have to be passionate about what you are doing because sometimes you get frustrated, but you have to like to know what you are doing and why you are doing it. Um, so yeah, you have to be passionate, you have to be responsible because you have to do a lot of your own work at home. And if you don't practice, you are not going to succeed. So um, you, I think that those two are really important. Like, That's to be responsible and to be passionate because sometimes it's going to be frustrated, but you have to work, work, work if you want to accomplish something really beautiful. Got it. Okay. Margarita, thank you for your time. We have absolutely loved getting to know you this past year. We're, we're very proud of you. We saw you working hard the entire time, even when your other classmates couldn't keep up. You, you stuck to it because you knew what you wanted to accomplish for yourself. Now we're looking at you about to start your master's degree at SCAD, and we're 100% sure that the future has these great and amazing opportunities in store for you because you put the work forward. We have just adored having you and we look forward to keeping in touch as time goes by, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Nicola. So it much. was really good. Yeah, we're so proud of you. And when you get back to America, happy to see you again, okay? Yeah, of course, of course. We will see each other. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.